what I learned, let me tell you what I've learned. Number one, never quit because you probably wanted to quit. I noticed a million times you're like, I thought I was done. Most of you at some point, you're gonna say, I thought I was done. Number one, you're never done, right? And number two, you're an overcomer. And maybe, you know, maybe you've been perfect and maybe you've ran into some struggles. What are you doing? Are you beating the victim drum? You know, like, are you whining? Are you complaining? You know, and then at the end of the day, you look at all the times where you should have quit. You should have given up. You could have quit. You could have given up. But at the end of the day, you're so freaking stubborn, right? That you kept going. You got to go through cuts. You got to go through heat. You got to go through pressure. I love if you guys have scars on you. If you have scars on you, here's what I want you to do. I don't want you to hide it. People will love you when they know that you're an overcomer. I don't have respect for people that have cuts and can't heal. Hurt people, hurt people. Okay, a lot of you in here, all you want to do is hurt people. You want to be a dick. And turn your wounds into your weapons. Okay, be weaponized with your past. Okay, now's the time. Dude, listen, every day's the time. <laughs> you know, when I see people move on dates and times, stuff has to have a deadline in life. But the time to win is every freaking second that you're alive. And by the way, if you don't feel this today in your bones, and as I'm talking to you, you know, I see a lot of people, they, uh, they fall out of love with what they do. And I'm gonna explain real quick, you guys should be more passionate about living life than you ever have before, ever. Because that's the only way you're gonna win. You know, I see a mom and a dad, right? They, they take their uh, daughter or son home. The first day they're born, just can't wait to be parents, right? You know what happens about two years later and they forget about their kids. The kids are annoying. They're too loud. They're not in love anymore. They disconnect. Why? God gave you a gift and all of a sudden now you're ungrateful. How the hell does that happen? Listen, I'm a soldier. I'm made to go to war. That's it. It is time for war. So who's the enemy? Write it down. You know who the enemy is? Number one, it's you. See, this year I'm taking some people out. I already know who they are. I've got enemies, and by the way, when I identify who my, who my enemies are, I get pissed off. And I want to tell you this, you were made to be a soldier. It is time for war. You guys want to get rich? You want to have a bad marriage? You want your wife to be proud of you or your husband? You want your team to be with you until you die? You want your clients to love you? You want to make a legacy life? Get your f***ing word. Because no one else is. No one. Today is the truth. Today, if you'll listen to me, and you'll kill your pride, your ego, and your entitlement, you will get it all, and you'll get it fast. Get ready for pain. Get ready for suffering. Get ready for hate. All you gotta do is make a decision today to change. That's it.